Hello everyone, Corn here and welcome to my channel. I have a handmade giveaway to present today. And first off, I'll give you the rules and then I'll show you what I've made. And first off, you need to be 18 or older. You need to be a visible subscriber of mine. You need to give this video a thumbs up. You need to, if you have a, a channel, and we all have channels on YouTube, that's why we can leave comments, but if you have a channel with content or you do videos then you and you're interested in entering, then you need to do a VR about the giveaway. And I am sorry to say, that because of the weight and the size of this giveaway, it's for U.S. only. And I'm sorry to say that because I have such wonderful subscribers in other countries. But it would be very, very expensive to ship. And I also need to let you know that the winner will be picked on March 28th. So that gives you all, I know it's hard for quite a few people to do VRs, so that'll give you a little more time. And it is a altered file folder, and this is the way it came out. And it is uh, tied together with sari silk, and I did not normally, I would um, bind this on the back, but I didn't know if the winner wanted to keep it, um, you know, tied or not, so therefore I didn't do that. So it, it comes away entirely, okay? And on the front, you have, um, well, let me say this before I show, uh, go through everything so I can make it a little bit shorter. It's not going to be short because there's quite a bit in here. This is also like a project share at the same time. Um, the lace, the seam binding, uh, lots of lace in this, except for if it's, of course, the natural color is, uh, paint dyed and, uh, stained. And, um, on the, there is a little tuck spot here. I think if you saw some of my other videos, I had to end up moving my little bulb pin here with the little uh, pearls in pink and cream and uh, two shades pink. And then there's a little key on here, which I think looks like a kitty cat on the top of it. <laughs> this is the, the butterfly, cause I know a lot of them, I added butterflies that I hadn't added originally because a lot of my subscribers love butterflies. So I thought, you know, that might be fun. And inside of here, I'm going to have to put this down periodically. Okay. So tucked into this little pocket, you have three envelopes that I made. And okay. Oh, also, when you see this paper, this is avocado dyed, and this is the paint dyed. So inside your envelopes, you'll have a little stationery or card. This one is a vintage, um, little vintage typewriter. And guess what? I, I traveled on and should have told you, yes, a lot of people enter my giveaways who do not have content on their channel. Everyone who's interested, please don't say, please enter me. Everyone that's interested needs to write in the, dis in the comments below why you like vintage. Okay? And then there's this one. I tried to do, the paper that I used is from Stamperia. It's called Roses and Lace. So I tried to do roses and lace as much as possible. And in this one, that's just the top of it, just a little bit of lace and a tiny little butterfly. And these butterflies, the little tiny pink ones, deep pink ones, you can 
they are glued only in the middle so you can um, put their wings up if you would like the winner can okay and then the third one is this one and this is the stationary one okay just a little rose at the top of that okay and I'm going to put things back later okay so on this side you have this is taken from a lace doily and then a um, little applique this is a Tim Holtz frame and I only place this paper here so that it can be there until you put either a picture or decorate it the winner decorate the way they would like this is taken from a vintage doily and then this little piece um, I got over a year ago at Hobby Lobby when they had their clearance and then you open it up and you have on the same side you have very similar this piece was given to me by Annie from Annie Creates like I said, I'll put everything back later to save time. This was given to me by Annie also. This is one of the tags that comes with the paper pad. And this is a little vintage lace, a Hobby Lobby flower, um, kind of vintage fabric here, and then a die cut doily. And on this side, you have um, the same. I mean, it's not the exact same, but it's the same items, but it's not the exact same uh, pictures on them. Places to write. And then over here, um, we did, we decorated this together in one of my crafts with me. And, um, this is burlap from Dollar Tree, a little lace, another applique, dyed rickrack. I end, I wanted to, I had forgotten to put my little piece of lace down here. And instead, it worked out better. I put it behind here and I like it better. So in here, you get, I think it's one, two, three, four pockets. And in here, you get this piece to write on. You get this piece is also given to me by Annie Creates, which is also Stamperia paper. You get this tag with some um, cheesecloth and fabric, and that's dyed also. You get this piece with the two birdies that are flying away. They are not in the cage, but flying free. That's from the paper pad. You get this postcard. And you get two more envelopes, which I will show you what is in them. <laughs> this one is just, that's from the paper pad. And this one just with a little, tiny little flower and um, butterfly. And then this one which has a darling sweet girl on it. Okay. So lots of writing space here. And then, I'm just gonna tuck them in like that. I'll put everything back. You know how we like everything to be so-so. <laughs> and then on this side, you do have a tag with a little lace at the top. And this came with the paper pad. And then this is a doily pocket with um, some thread and another little piece of lace. And then this flower with the rhinestone in the middle, I think is from Joanne's Fab Joanne Fabrics, I think. And then this is how my tickets came out. These are done with the lace stencil. 
and then these uh, the numbers were cut from that paper pad and then you have the dyed paper in the mint and then you have um, little tiny roses that are fussy cut out of something that I had. So the lace stencil is front and back and that tucks right in here. And you have to do it very gingerly though because as you know the doily pockets are very, very delicate. <laughs> so, then it opens like this. And I had so much going on on this side because remember when I showed you all before, the pockets are on the left. So, and I didn't, um, I did put, um, a little another little flip on this side but not on this one and so I'm trying to get it as close to the camera as possible here's a tuck spot lace satin ribbon this is from the um, paper pad and I had showed this previously tiny bit of lace that dyed paper and this is a coffee dyed teeny tiny little coffee dyed book to write in and that tucks right in there. Thank you Trina from Trina's Place for this trim that I dyed. And then in here, here is another uh, tag from that, you know, the cut aparts. And then we have this tag that I did and then splashed with some I forget what I used for that. It wasn't regular white paint. It was something else. And then I thought the winner could write maybe a loved one's name here, maybe a picture, maybe. And then I also made this little booklet to write in. It's just a little place to write. This has um, doily, lots of uh, distress ink on almost everything, some dyed lace here, some cheesecloth, then you open it up and there's the paper that I dyed and it's on the back too. So here's some more writing spots. And then on this side, this is your uh, tuck spot here. Actually it's a pocket. And then this paper, um, this fabric I dyed also and just frayed the edges, tore it. Um, this is dyed. The lace is dyed. And actually so is the tag itself. Well, I'm going to have to put that down again. I'm going to be putting it up and down quite a bit. And they just, this is a little belly band. And you get this piece to write on. You get this Tim Holtz to write on, and it says note to self. And then another one of the tags. And they just fit right under this belly pin. And then the scallop uh, punch here is Fiskars. So that fits up there. And what I did, because this side is just so full, um, this is the diary that a lot of y'all who've been watching me make this. This fits in here perfectly, okay? But it was just so full, I keep it, I, I keep it here. You know, the winner can put it back over there, but it, uh, I think, will travel better here. And then I put, again, this dyed paper, a little um, fussy cut this out, and I thought maybe a picture in writing underneath. That's why I did it like that. And before we look at this, on this side, um, this pocket, I stamped this stamp, this one, this one. I made this one because it's so tiny. And then this stamp is a real one but I went ahead and stamped the cancellation lines over it in black. And it says um, Army and Navy. And 
um, the army is very, very special and important in this family. So I thought that it's important to me, and, and I hope that um, the winner will like, will like that stamp as well. And then with the diary, now, let me grab one of these. Um, this is too large, but I thought, you know, with diaries, sometimes you want something a little private. So I didn't put anything in it because I thought the winner could. But right here, with this pocket, I thought, you know, you could tuck something in there that's a secret. <laughs> and that somebody else, if it's not too thick, that somebody else would know was there. And then this uh, pen, I got, uh, it's a chipboard, and I got that at Stamperia also, and I got that from the Rubber Buggy. And I really did think about um, putting some brads here and here, but then I thought, you know, the pages on here are so delicate, and I'd have to cover them up, you know, put something here to cover up the backs of them. So I just left that be, and, and I think most of you know this is, whenever you see this is the dyed paper. I did do some stamping, and this paper is so thin that, of course, it comes through to the other side, but I liked it. This is very old drawing paper of mine, I think around 40 years old. And I did, the, these stamps are rubber stamps by Tim Holtz. And then I did the ballerina on this one. See, I like it that she shows it, but that's just me. <laughs> I hope the winner doesn't mind. Then the uh, hot air balloon. Then a little cup of tea, if you ask me, but quite a few of you, I think would call it a cup of coffee. And then, of course, the clock. I just love clock so much. And then I did the um, three holes and bound it together by hand. And here's one of my favies coming up. <laughs> we love these at this house, love them. And then I did the chair because it looks comfortable. Maybe you'd be sitting in this at, at a, in front of a desk and writing in it. And then there's the bag, but I like that too. Here's the birdies. And then the last one is the globe. And so that's how that, the diary came out. And then on this side, there's another tag with the dyed um, seam binding lace again. This was cut out of a lace doily. And this time I wanted the leaves to be lace also, so I cut them out of lace trim that was dyed. And then you're gonna have the little butterflies throughout, the tiny little pink butterflies throughout. And then just another place to write. And I thought maybe if you have a smaller picture here, maybe something there, or even a memento. And then again, I did the leaf, cut the leaves out of lace that I dyed. And so more places to write. I told you this was gonna be a long one. Um, I've worked on this quite a bit, <laughs> a lot, a lot. <laughs> okay, now, this is gonna go this way. Now, up here. Now, this idea for this, first off, the idea for this hidden paper clip was from Natasha, who is Treasure Books here, and we've got this is fabric with some lace trim, lace. Um, this is from the paper pad. Um, and this is holding uh, a list pad with paper. I put this tissue paper at the top. Hear that? Um, to kind of hide whatever the winner is writing in it. <laughs> and it is on this paper 
And this idea for this comes from Jennifer, who is a trace of Sparkle here on YouTube. And um, I didn't make it exactly like hers because I don't think that's cool. But that's my rendition of it. And I did tear the bottom of the pages only. And then this opens like so. This flips out like so. And then this flips out like so. <laughs> And then this flips out like so. And I think that's why it got so big on this side. <laughs> so over here is a bag. And I put the sorry silk here and some lace, lace, lace. And this piece is cut out from fabric. Um, I put in here another writing spot. Um, I took the pa this, these pages are from an old book from the 1960s about printing, all about printing, as in printing the written word. And so the winner gets to write here and here. Okay. And I also made this little goodie to, this is um, older Prima paper. Okay, and they go in there. And then you flip it over and I have another pocket here. Why? I can tell you why I didn't put my little thumb goodie <laughs> half circle there. <clears throat> it was late at night and I completely forgot. Um, this has a tag inside of it that I dyed and then stenciled with the wicker white distress uh, ink and I thought it looked so pretty I didn't want to do anything else to it except tie fabric to the top of it. And then this piece has this has nothing in it but what would normally because this is so full on this side I did make, I'll show this later, I did make the winner one of these with the goodies inside of this that would normally go in here, okay? So, and then when this flips out, I just took the, um, this is the avocado dye, this is the paint dyed, and I stenciled lace here at the top, lace here at the bottom, then I did, uh, I think, very faint rose bud here and then the full rose here in um, stamping. And then here is another belly band. This is fabric here. The lace is dyed. And it has three pieces to write with here. You have another one of their tags that comes with the paper. I don't remember where I got this piece. And then another postcard. I'll put those back nicer later. And then you have pocket, 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 and pocket. <laughs> this um, appliqued butterfly is a pocket. And inside is, yes, you know how I love my clocks. That came with the paper pad when they cut apart. Then there's a little pocket behind here, which is very delicate because it's the paper I dyed. And inside again, note to self. This is a coin envelope that I made out of the paper. And that is holding this tag, which is dyed and speckled with white too. And then this uh, oval dye with the d deep pink. I, I don't remember where I got that, y'all, to be honest. Another postcard goes here. And then behind the pink is another pocket. And since it's such a deep pocket, I was able to do this one. And this lace, I don't know if it's showing you, has a little bit of iridescent thread to it. And then there's the back. So 
and write on. And this goes so that this frayed fabric here goes right over the pink. <laughs> and then inside of this pocket is the file folder I made. I think we've got to go put this down again. <laughs> And I think most of you all have already seen this with the lace and this is fabric and then the um, seam binding and then I thought the winner could put the date here and the date could be reflecting if they decide to do this is the paper from the paper pad that you'll get they decide to do photos on the front and then write on the back because the ones that um, would not be easy to write on even in black ink I went ahead and covered in the dyed paper okay and then there's the lace one I thought maybe photos here writing and writing on the back also so they go in here And they've all been distress inked around. Alrighty. And then this is the deep pink paper with a curtain lace over it. This is a Project Life card with uh, that I did the corners and with my crocodile and thought this might be a place to either put a picture or write. And then this, on this side, um, this is from Tim Holtz also, and I thought for special dates, maybe even for the family, you know, to circle the birthday and then the, the number for their birthday. And then you get a Project Life card, you get this tag, and I usually would put lace and other goodies on it, but I like the background of this one so much <laughs> that I left it alone. I like it like it is. And then you get this little cluster that I um, sewed together with a button and then a place to right here with the avocado dyed paper. Okay, so now we're going here, 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 here. Now the back and the back has a pocket and the pocket is done with dyed eyelet and I went ahead, um, this is a creamy lace that I cut the leaves out to put around the rows. This is that uh, same curtain lace. And I dyed, I went over it with um, ink to get that color. Kept going over it actually. And then I did this little patch, it's only sewed on, of lace here. And this is an outline stitch in embroidery. And then put this button here and with the same embroidery floss, adhered it to the fabric. And then inside of here, you get, here we go again. <laughs> you get um, a matchbook place to write. And I have a craft with me on this. And then here's your pages in here to write on with laces and a snippet of a doily and little butterfly. I don't have lots of glitter and everything in this one like I normally do because of the vintage, but I have a little bit. And then I did make a bookmark because there's quite a few of us who still read books, actual books, have our hands on them. They like, we like the smell of them, the feel of them. And hopefully the winner 
will put this in a good book and um, it's kind of self-explanatory and it little laces little roses and then this is the avocado dyed paper and then you also get this is one of the cut aparts y'all how cool is that here's the back I know, I think it's cool. And they also have these two. And what I love is, look at the little birdie, it's outside. outside. So, and here's the back of them. So, and then this is what it looks like with everything out. Now, I'm going to put everything back after the camera stops rolling. We'll put it like so, and like so. Um, the card that goes with it. And then it's just like this. And um, I did get the envelope. I didn't make the envelope and um, card this time. It was made by Michaels. Remember how they have on the end cap some, this is over a year ago. But I thought it it looks so great with the file folder. And again, lace, fabric, um, little punches, and dyed paper. And then, this is what will come with it. And I'm not going to show you everything inside, but I will show you the inside. And I did the, remember how you, how I showed you at Christmas time, I did quite a few of the uh, little purses and then what I call the wallet that goes inside. This is the wallet made by, from a brown paper bag. Again, this is the book on printing, so it talks about Princeton University and the number of printers, and it's really cool. And then taken from an older um, music book from a thrift store, this is the paper pad, paper pad, a little lace. Um, and like I said, these items in here would normally go in the envelope in there. And then this is the back. Normally, I would put a collage medium over it, but because, and it's still, even though it's matte, it still has a little bit of a shine to it, and I didn't want that on the vintage pieces here, so I just left that as is. So, so that is what I have for the giveaway um, this time, and again, if you have content, please, and you're interested, please do a VR. Also, um, the winner will be chosen on March 28th. And I'd like to thank you all so much for joining me. And I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening. Bye-bye, everybody. Take good care.